Back over at Cali Farms, Mama Stortinis shares tips on making the perfect salmon. We're here with Roy Bonner, and he is from Mama Stortini's restaurant in Puyallup. Now, is there another Mama Stortini's besides the Puyallup restaurant? Yes, we actually have one in uh, Kent Station. Okay, and I love Italian food. Mama Stortini's is an excellent Italian restaurant, but they also are known for their wonderful salmon dishes. So, because we know that basil is so easy to grow in a small garden space, we thought we'd have Roy talk to us about how their salmon has become so incredibly famous and what's your secret it has something to do with basil yeah well we, we do our salmon many different ways at the restaurant we grill it uh, we uh, pan sear it we also just roast it uh -huh. and uh, what I like to do with the basil or with the basil is make a pesto out of it okay. and it goes great on top of salmon so basically to make a pesto pick your basil your basil leaves put it in with some oil uh, pecorino romano cheese uh, pine nuts and throw it in the blender and finish with some olive oil until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so that's what you pour on top of the salmon after yep. it's done. Okay, so now the presentation is gorgeous because are those peppers or are those, are they just colorful carrots? They're, yeah, they're, they're colorful rainbow carrots that I just, I cut on the bias. Basically cutting on the bias, all it means is you want to cut it as a diagonal. It okay. shows more on the plate, more coverage. Oh, wow. So that's what makes that presentation. So what is, when, when people are barbecuing at home and let's say they have their own basil and fresh herbs, what are the biggest mistakes people make when they cook salmon? Well, definitely they, they, they overcook it. So okay. a, a good way to cook salmon is we like to cook a medium rare or medium. It's, it's not gonna hurt you. You know, you can eat salmon raw. It's, it's not gonna harm your stomach. So if best thing is always keep a thermometer with you. If you can temp it at 120 to 125 degrees, you'll wanna pull it off. Okay, so if, even if you're grilling it or if you're baking it, you just yep. have put the thermometer yep. into the salmon yep. meat and you keep it at 120 degrees. Yeah, 120, it. 125, that's around medium rare. Okay. And then when you take it out, it's still gonna continue to cook for a little bit. Ah. So you can get up to like a medium state in your salmon. Okay. And that'll be a nice, you know, pink flesh in the middle and it won't be dry. Okay, that's, and that's, the, now do you put olive oil on top of it when you cook it or do you just cook it just plain? You, you, yeah, you can put olive oil on top of it. It's kind of nice to put olive oil on top of it because it helps your seasoning stick to it. Ah. Or another thing that we like to do at the restaurant is we will we'll actually brine our salmon for okay. a day ahead. And brine it means to put it in a salt bath? Basically, add yeah, salt, sugar, uh, some thyme, and different types of herbs mm -hmm. with water. And then you brine it for a day, take it out, pat it down, and rinse it so it's not too salty. But all that, those juices and liquids will actually get inside the salmon to help make it Ooh. moist. Wow. And what about the skin, especially when you're barbecuing? Do you leave the skin on the salmon, or do you remove it when you cook it? Well, you, you could do both ways. Some people actually like to leave the skin on. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to do a, a pan fry method, you can leave the skin on, make crispy skin. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I like to take the skin off because I don't like to deal with it when I'm eating it, so ah. scraping it off the skin. But, you know, it's your choice. Wow. And now here's the big question. When the homeowner goes to the grocery store to buy their salmon, is it worth it to pay more for Copper River salmon? You know, I think so. And as a chef, it's really nice because it's such a bright red, vibrant color. Mm -hmm. And fat is considered flavor in food. And Copper River has a nice amount of fat in it. So there's a lot of flavor in it. And it also kind of has a, almost like a, a sweet taste to it. It's a little bit different than your, your Kings and Cohos and stuff like that. So. Okay, well great. Then I'm gonna invest my money in Copper River salmon and harvest my basil and do pesto just like this. Because Perfect. I go to the restaurant just to order this dish. It is delicious. Perfect. Thank you, Roy Bomber from Mama Sartino's Restaurant, and thanks for sharing your tips on cooking salmon. Thank you. Stay with us after the break as Chef Jorge helps you enjoy oatmeal in the summer. 